Hassan and I'm a high fashion designer of Mimi London. I design dresses for nice people, good people. <laughs> Today has been quite manic. I told everyone to get here at 10, so they got here early, which I was surprised. And um, we did fittings, girls, because each dress kind of has a girl that, you know, brings out the true style. You can't just put any girl in any dress. So it's been finding the right girl for the dress, makeups for different scenes. Like we have the, um, the puppet scene, then we have the girl fight scene. Then we have the uh, movement scene, so it's been getting girls that fit that scene and makeups that fit that scene and dresses that fit that scene, so there's been a lot of work. You're meant to be like the puppets. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I think that it's like five minutes. One thing I haven't told you about the label is um, it's based on the ethos of um, jet setting girls. So. They have the normal cat fights, they have the normal lost factor where they lost after someone's bag or shoes and when they're not looking they sneak and take it and they're a bit kleptomaniacs. So um, yeah, um, you're going to see lots of interactions and lots of playing because the label is fun. brand image is all it is about this label because I'm selling a lifestyle and my label captures like 18 to 35 year olds that are very fashion conscious and like statement pieces that they can wear and nobody will be like oh, you know so even if it looks unusual once they put them in the advertorials it's editorials really sell my clothes so it's one of the major, like, important things for Mimi Lee London, ed editorials and advertorials, because it's the brand image. Everyone wants to see what pieces are coming and, you know, what fun we'll be having with the advertorials, because we always have fun. If anyone Googles the past advertorials, they'll see how much fun we have. From shooting on roof terraces and those, what do you call those cars that they use? Those yellow bicycle things, Keke Marawa, yes, we shot in one, yeah, it was for like a Middle Eastern campaign, and you know, the girls really rocked it, you know, so hopefully these girls will be able to rock it too, and have fun while rocking the dresses. I'm pulling my hair, I'm supposed to pull it, so you will feel the pain. It's like an alter ego. It's like um, you know when you have like good side, bad side. Okay, well it's not my bad side. It's more like my rebellious side. So it's um, I think when I go out and I go for parties or um, events, I really leave. so I dress up the whole eyelashes. Make I've toned down now. It used to be a lot worse before. Big hair, everything. So I think that was like a nickname for. Um, my party girl persona <laughs> but um, I think Mimi Lee became the name for the label because it was just natural it was like pieces I'd love to wear when I go out and I'm looking fabulous so I just thought why not name the label Mimi Lee so it just naturally evolved but most of my friends and family know me as Mimi Lee we work too much we don't have a social life do we even eat sometimes? <laughs> no <laughs> <laughs> see Everyone, even the person filming this interview, so, was so good to use it to start sewing. Because <laughs> we're so busy that we need all the hats we can get. So once he's done filming, he's going to be cutting some patterns for us because um, we're way behind schedule, right? Inspirations for my designs is like the name, Mimi Lee. I love the Orient. Like you can see the... Um, kimono kaftan behind me i'm you know crazy about the orient like um japanese chinese style so i think most of my inspirations come from the japanese culture or oriental culture so i just try and put like a um what they call it like a contemporary twist on it or my own twist on um 
shapes, paintings, and Japanese um, regalia. So when working on the design, you have to break it down into, um, you know, the first of all, you need to analyze the design. So basically, like this design, you have to build it from the body to the. But I'll show you one. Okay. So we have that sketch, right? So um, I'll show you the body of this sketch. We break it down before we start to sew. So you know that's the body becomes this body. To make this design, you have to create the body. When you create the body, you have to come over and drape on the body. So this becomes this beautiful dress. So that's how you go about it. There was an art teacher called Mr. Fat. So we used to call him that because he was quite fat. But he knew that was his nickname though. It's not because we're bullies. But <laughs> he knew that was his nickname. And um, I think it was like a flower pot he said we should draw. And he said I had some natural way of... I don't know what they call it. He said I wouldn't understand now, but later I would understand. And like I say, when you even sketch, when you look closely at my sketches, in terms of how fabrics crease, it's like it's not something someone can teach you. It's like a natural thing to understand movement and feel and the feel of things. You have to have that natural flair in terms of sketching. So yeah. And I did fashion illustration which kind of helped. When you're sketching, doing fashion illustrations, you have to bring out details in fashion. So if I want to inject a detail, that sort of helped me turn my art in a way. I've worked with models and I've worked with muses. So a muse is someone who inspires a design and to be, people might call me gay, but I fall in love with girls. Sometimes I dream about designs that go with some girls' faces and personalities. So that's why I said it is based around um, ethos of girls who are crazy about fashion and you know they live the lifestyle. So I fall in love with girls. The only thing I would like to say is have fun with fashion. Fashion shouldn't be precious. You know, a couture garment can be used in 50 million ways. You don't have to wear it when you're going out. You can rock it, fold it, pin it, wear it with jeans, slap some sunglasses on. Just have fun with your clothes. Don't be precious about it. If you invest in something expensive, use it, use it, and use it. <laughs> so that's all I have to say.